I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this readathon. I've never done a full 24 hour readathon before, and I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish this book. I am determined. Hi everyone, um, say hello to just got out of the shower Emily. So basically today I'm going to be doing a 24 hour readathon and as you can see it is 11.04. So I have approximately 56 minutes before the start of this readathon. I am planning on sleeping tonight so I will not be pulling an all nighter and straight up reading for 24 hours because I'm going to go insane. Also, I am planning on reading an audiobook. I just don't know which book I'm going to be listening to on audio. I have four books I want to read today. Two of them are like classic, so I don't know if I want to listen to it on audiobook. I feel like it would be more difficult to read if it was on audio, but we'll see. I'll try it out. Um, whichever one is available on Libby already is going to be the one that I'm going to check out. I'm going to share my TBR with you now. Um, um, the first book is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This one's a super small, short, quick book. Um, I've also been getting back into Agatha Christie again, so um, this one is also one of her more popular ones, and I think there's a movie for this one as well, so I'm excited to get to this one. The audiobook for this is only six hours, meaning I can listen to it in three, so I will definitely, definitely, definitely be finishing this one. The next book I want to read is 450 in Paddington by Agatha Christie, another Agatha Christie book. This one I did haul more recently, and and I think this is going to be my first Miss Marple case. And this one's going to be my first non poirot Agatha Christie book. This one's about a murder on a train station. And this one, I think, is about a murder on an island, like a secluded area of an island. So that's scary. And then the last two books are contemporary novels. So I'm going to try to read like every other one. A contemporary and then a mystery so the first one is blackout by danielle clayton tiffany d jackson nick stone andy thomas ashley woodfolk and nicola yoon very excited for this one i have been wanting to read a cute little new york city romance novel um i don't know too much about this book just that it's a romance um, that takes place in New York City during a blackout main character and it also features black main characters and that's all I know about it. I don't know if it's like a bunch of different love stories or different couples because there are multiple authors or if it's just one collective story. I'm not sure. And then lastly, I want to read The Goal by L. Kennedy. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Sorry. Um, this is the last book in the Off Campus series, but I think she's coming out with a new one in September. September. So, um, perfect timing. I'm gonna read it in a couple months. Kind of want to finish a book before I go to bed, just so that I feel like I've accomplished something. Or maybe at least get like 75% of the way through. We'll see if I actually do it. I don't want to pressure myself too much, but I do really need to finish these books today. <laughs> of my house and the readathon technically started 43 minutes ago but we're just gonna pretend that it's exactly midnight i got distracted playing fortnite with my boyfriend so that's how that went but we are going to be reading blackout i'm on page one so The mom's has her cell phone lying flashlight up on top of the stroller so I can see her swoop down and scoop up the little homie. Then, quick as a flash, she's got a boob out and the kid is getting its grub on. Say hi to the vlog. 
so I'm currently on reading sprints, but I just wanted to talk about um, my book. In Ashley Woodfolk's um, story, it follows two girls and they're in an elderly home. The old people are so cute and adorable. And there's also this dog named Ziggy. He's a black pit bull and he's just the most adorable thing. And apparently like the love interest's grandma was a dog trainer, like a show dog trainer. And so she would like run with the dogs and then she taught the love interest how to train dogs and so she trained the pit bull his name's Ziggy this is so wholesome I'm not crying but I'm like teary-eyed and I want to cry I love Danielle Clayton's story in this oh my gosh oh my gosh that was so beautiful on the footnotes oh my gosh i want to cry i want to cry so bad um it's 10 59 i'm currently on page 156 i have less than 100 pages left but it's so good <laughs> it's so good so i finished blackout oh hold on let me get the dust cover this book was absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and i loved it so much and i can't Stop thinking about it and it was beautiful and I loved how it all came together all the stories came together at the end and I'm happy so I finished my first book of the day it's kind of late in the day it's already like one and I've only finished one book so I'm gonna get started on and then there were none by Agatha Christie I did start the audiobook earlier but there's so many characters and it's kind of hard to keep track of everyone so I'm going to start it again um, but just read it physically just because it's so hard to keep track of everybody in this book So I'm up on my bed now and I finished Blackout like I said earlier and I finished my reading sprints so I decided to start on And then there were none by Agatha Christie. I'm on page 15 So chapter 2 I was going to go out to the bookstore, but like I'm just not in the mood right now I don't know why I just don't I don't want to go out. Who knows, maybe the mood will change. Maybe I'll feel like going somewhere later. I honestly just want to sleep, but I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this readathon. I've never done a full 24 hour readathon before and I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish this book. I am determined. This thing is only like 200 something pages. Okay, so I'm about to leave my house and go to the bookstore and end up feeling in the mood. So I'm gonna be listening to my audiobook. I got familiar with the character, so now I'm okay to um, just listen to it. And I have like two something hours left, just a little over two hours. So I will definitely use all that time at the bookstore. It's time to go book shopping now. Definitely want to read this one during Halloween. Thank you. 
so i ended up going to that cafe as you saw and reading the rest of and then there were none so i finished the book i finished two books today and i did end up buying a couple of books um the first one i did plan on getting and it's ace of spades i heard it's like gossip girl and get out I've never seen Get Out, but I love Gossip Girl. And I also got A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. Everyone adores this. And the whole series, trilogy or whatever, I don't know. Other than that, there's not much else to say. I kind of did start the audiobook for 450 in Paddington. I don't know if I'm going to get to the goal today. Um, I might just start it tomorrow and see what happens. I'm probably going to be able to finish 450 in Paddington tonight, but we'll see. Right now I'm going to my boyfriend's house, but I stopped by my house to pick up my copy of 450 from Paddington. Apparently it's 450 from Paddington, not 450 and Paddington, so I apologize for my mistake earlier. Um, so hopefully I can finish one more book before the day ends. That'd be so good. This is literally the most books I've ever read in a single day, so this is fantastic. I'm so happy. So it's currently like 10 p.m. I don't have a lot of time left, but I did get to page 64 of 450 from Paddington. So that's like a fourth of the way through the book. I could have honestly finished this tonight, but I just started getting really <laughs> tired and um, I don't wanna make myself sick of reading because I do wanna read a lot this month and I don't wanna push myself too hard. So I might just do another 24 hour readathon sometime before the month ends so that I can catch up on the books that I ended up not being able to finish. I am going to go ahead and finish this one today and tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow because I'm kind of busy with work and stuff, um, but we'll see. Uh, and then I have some other books that I need to start according to my reading plan after tomorrow, but I'm going to get as far into this book as I possibly can. I think that this 24 hour readathon was very, very, very eventful and productive. I usually don't like collaborate books but for this one it just worked really well I think also because although these authors wrote different stories they all interconnected and uh, especially at the end so I think that was a major part in me actually liking the book it felt very cohesive and very put together they were written by different people with different writing styles but it all just blended so perfectly yeah I really needed today because I don't know, I've just been so stressed out from work. Just stupid stuff that doesn't even need to be stressed out about. So it's not even 12 yet, but I'm exhausted from reading. I'm not gonna compare myself to other readers because everyone is different, um, but I am physically and mentally exhausted from reading today. As I should be, I read two books. Even though both of them were like 250 pages, I have never read more than 300 pages in one day. So I am very exhausted. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this book. I'm probably just gonna push through it tomorrow. As of tomorrow, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook for Beach Read and physically reading this because I cannot do it anymore today i am so tired i'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching this video i am so tired i'm ending the readathon early because i am so exhausted <laughs> thank you again for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye